Hello everyone. Remember those days when dial up internet was the height of technology and the TV warmed up like an old friend. Well, buckle up because we're about to take you up speed. Trip back to the late 90s. We are diving headfirst into the world of Iso Iso, the show that had us hooked from the first frame. And we've got front row seats to witness the draw up of the actors who once ruled the groovy hallways. But before we begin, please hit that like and subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified on our future videos. Thank you. First, we'll take a look at Chabulani Chavas Nyembe, played by Mishek Mavuso, born on April 8, 1977, in Mandasuk, Limpopo. Mishek Mavuso Makabane has been a powerhouse in South African TV. Fast forward to now, he's 46 and still owning the screen. From Isitino to Depp and Jen, he's not just an actor, he's a husband and a father of four. And secondly, we'll take a look at Nomsa, played by Shamine Mdinda. Shamine Mdinda, the powerhouse behind Nomsa in Izo Izo, is still owning the screen at 51 years old. She packed the Avanti Award for Best Actress for that role. Fast forward to 2019, she joined Scandal as Nomfundo Lana's sister, Lulama. Number three. We take a look at Hazel, played by Norman de Conmega. Norman de Conmega, CEO of a, once the face of Hazel in Izo Izo, now a powerhouse in the boardroom as a counselor at Ikasa. She regulates the media landscape with over 26 years of experience in content development. Number four, we take a look at Mantua, played by Lorraine Pepe. Lorraine Pepe, aka Lolom Pepe, beyond these Izo corridors, she graced the screens as a guest star in Home Affairs, Zero Tolerance, Chisa, Single Guys, Tunzini.com, IA, and Umlilo. The fifth spot, we take a look at Gunman, played by Christopher Kubega. Tragically, he passed away at 48 in June 2017 by Sue. The reason that, as mentioned in his source note, shed light on personal challenges. Let's remember him for the joy he brought on screen and be aware of the real struggles people face. The sixth spot we take a look at Zakes, played by Chet Novuga. Chet Novuga, born March 3rd, 1971, is a powerhouse in South African TV. He's a true icon, graduated from Fuba School of Drama. Novuga is not just an actor, but one of, of Southern Africa's leading producers. The seventh spot we take a look at Hazel, played by Tembi Siete. Tembi Siete, born March 25, 1977, is a South African powerhouse, actress, singer, and a former member of Boom Shaka, currently gracing our screens in Komora as Gladys. She's more than a talent, she's an icon. The principal, played by Patrick Ndlovu. Now, Patrick Clover, a true legend in the South African entertainment realm, wasn't just an actor, he was a cultural force spanning over four decades. His cap Patrick Clover's legacy is etched in the stories he told, the characters he embodied, and the inspiration he instilled in aspiring actors. Pal, played by Nambita Mpumlwana. Nambita Mpumlwana, born February 12th, 1967 is a powerhouse in South African entertainment from generations to ashes to ashes and the film Toti. Her talent knows no bound, a true gem in the industry. Season 1 Papa Action, played by Ronnie Nyakale. Now, Ronnie Nyakale, a South African gem known for Blood Diamond and Generations The Legacy. Actor, MC, and entrepreneur, his talent knows no bounds. Married to Lebohang Mashilo, and they share the joy of a daughter. 
Tees are played by Tepo Gwani. Tepo Gwani talent etched in the memories of Izo Izo and Zone 14 fans. Sadly, the 39 year old actor succumbed to an undisclosed illness after a two week hospitalization at Jabulani Hospital in Soweto. His passing left a void in the industry and his contributions to South African storytelling will be remembered. Season 2 Papa Action. Played by Zola 7. Now born in Kosi aka Zola 7. Born April 24, 1977. From his razor to Toti, he's conquered music and film. As a philanthropist, Zola 7 on SAPC 1 changed lives, building libraries and more. A true South African icon. Dudu played by Nolutando Maleka. Nolutando Maleka, a standout actress in the 90s and 2000s, transitioned from a successful career to a private life. Addressing vital issues, her final role was in Beat the Drum in 2003. Chester played by Ernest Mseeb. Ernest Mseeb, a name synonymous with charisma and talent in South African television, his humor-laden performances endured him to fans, making him a favorite in the SAPC One drama series in 1999. Beyond the screen, Ernest is not just an actor, he's a businessman in partnership with his wife in Johannesburg, Zoe Tele, played by Standiwe Horohe. Sandor Horohe, born February 4, 1972, is a South African actress celebrated for her roles in Generations, MTV Sugar, and Yizo Yizo. Nongoloza, played by Israel Mateke Zulu. He's a South African actor, poet, and dancer, recognized for his impactful roles in motion pictures like Inaba Namba in 2013, Four Corners in 2013, Toti in 2005, and Hard to Get in 2014, and Gomorrah. As a bid farewell to the nostalgic journey through Izo Izo, each character is star in its own right. Lingers in our memories, from Chavez to Nongo Loza, their stories painted indelible strokes on the canvas of South African entertainment. Yes, to the enduring legacy of Izo Izo and the timeless brilliance of its cast. Thank you for the memories and the magic. Yeah.